All right, we are shooting non-stop videos because we have nothing to do in the morning. <laughs> and again, with my Captain America, if Robert had worn it, it would have been Captain... North Korea? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are gonna talk something, uh, uh, a subject that's pretty, pretty good. Uh, to squeeze or not squeeze, okay? You see it all the time. People are talking about, you know, when, 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 when you punch somebody, you got to turn it. And then at the last point of impact, you got to squeeze the power in there, okay? So is, what is it? Am I doing a Mythbusters here? When I actually hit a point, am I squeezing my fist or am I not squeezing my fist? So what do you think? Squeeze to not squeeze. You know already. Why am I telling you? <laughs> He's my only audience right here. I'm talking to him. Squeeze. Squeeze. Okay, he's going to squeeze. Okay, let's let's just think common sense here. Okay, look at the punch motion. Here, if I extend the punch, this has a natural flow to it. Notice if I'm holding the fist at two pounds to keep it close and I extend it out, look at the flow to it. Now, you may be thinking though, at two pounds when I extend it out and it stays two pounds at point of impact, Am I squeezing or not squeezing? But if I go like this, look at this. I'm extending and all of a sudden, boom, punch. Boom, punch. I'm like really emphasizing the, you know, the power into it. Power, if you look at it, is natural. That means anything that you do, if it's got a natural motion to it, the power is already in there. Anytime you add anything extra, like, the like making your fist tighter at the very last point of impact, that is totally incorrect. Just watch any, anything from a, 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 a natural swinger, a baseball player who swings, you don't see him swing and go like this. Or a natural, someone who has a nice stroke in uh, to shoot in basketball, you don't see him go <laughs> like this. <laughs> see my Jer Jeremy Lin shot? <laughs> All right, but there is some detail when it comes into the punch. Do you, is there a squeeze or not a squeeze? And the actual technical thing is, there is a squeeze, but the squeeze does not happen because of you. The squeeze comes out from holding the fist structurally correct, and when the impact comes into it, then the squeeze comes about, okay? So for example, if I'm here and I want to punch Robert, okay? I'm not going, I, let's say I shoot out the punch. I'm punch, 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 and I, I feel at the last second I go, and then just squeeze that, squeeze it really hard. Let's go into detail of exactly how the fist is actually set up. Uh, how much can I see here? Okay, okay, you, Robert, you can stand up a little closer, okay. If we look at the fist, okay, how do we first make a proper fist? If you look at the hand, I roll my fingers even, naturally. See, it's a nice, simple close. Everything is in line at this point, okay? Everything is in line. And notice my thumb covers the index finger. That's it, okay? Now, how much do I need to hold my fist? Do I hold it this, this, this hard to, to make it? Or do I have to hold it this hard? Or this light? Or, th or this? That's too light. Now, think about it. Why don't I hold it tight, you know? Why don't I hold it tight? Because in, in order for me to punch, look at it. I want to show you my uh, freaking 22 inch pythons here. Okay, if I hold it like this, or, and I'm making my fist, before I can shoot out and shoot out the fist, okay, what happens? I have to relax it in order to, 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 shoot, out, to shoot out the fist. But if my, hand, if my hand is just the natural tension, nat naturally relaxed here, I can shoot it out right away. It's no difference like if I ask everybody in a, in a race, re ready, set, go. <laughs> ready, ready, set, go, okay? I ask someone to tense up, okay? And then he hears the gunfire, go. Before he could take his first step, he has to relax first in order to shoot it out. So, going back into the detail of it, okay? A lot of times you hear the old saying, Wing Chun is at lower three knuckles de deliver the power. Okay, and a lot of things people interpret that like this. They interpret it going this way, s s uh, snapping the wrist up and then hitting with the lower three knuckles. Uh, to me, well, that's how they do it. <laughs> but if they, if they damage or break the wrist, that's their fault, okay? Because it, it's true, the lower three knuckles does deliver power, but let's look at the detail of how that actually happens. Okay, so if my fist is actually in line here, okay, or my, my fingers are actually in line and I put my, my thumb over that point, what happens? I don't squeeze on impact. I don't squeeze it myself. But since it's structurally like this, nice and relaxed, there's room for this to actually counter to the point. If I squeeze at this point and when, when I punch, if he ends up blocking it, what happens? The shock comes back into me. I want to actually release the power into my opponent. So 
let's do uh, the, our cheap version of, you know how they do those uh, drive, drive test dummies and they do it in slow motion. But since we have a zero budget, uh, I'm gonna do it by slow motion here. So here's the fist, okay? At the point of impact, okay, let's see if you can see this. Since the, all of them are lined, at the point of impact, and this is not me doing it, this is actually the point of impact. And uh, so you can see, when, when the impact happens, this actually ends up being squeezed in. See, uh, this way. See how my knuckles upon touch squeeze in, okay? So these bottom three fingers actually squeeze in. And what happens in turn? These three knuckles right here extend out, okay? So this actually ends up being squeezed this way. And then this shoots out the three knuckles on the bottom. Okay, all from having it structurally held correct. I never squeeze it myself. So in other words, I'm here, if I have a grape in my hand and I punch him before the point, imp when I hit the impact, I don't squeeze it. But when I finally run into the target and it, it, it hits him, that actually creates the squeeze itself, not me. The point of impact and, and, and hitting the opponent actually squeezes the grape itself. And then when that squeezes, these three, knuck three, three fingers go in, these knuckles go out, okay? Also, it's very important when we do this that you don't punch vertical like this. See how it's vertical? You wanna actually punch it this way at an angle, okay? This way at an angle, the entire fist hits. This way, vertical like this, then you only get the, the middle knuckle in there and you have a chance of breaking, breaking, your, breaking your wrist that way. But if you hit it, let's say from here, if you look at this, this is 12 o'clock where my thumb is. If I have it slightly angled, this is about one, one o'clock, okay? So I want to hit it where I'm at one o'clock because the entire fist will, will hit the target. When the entire fist hits the target, guess what? My fist naturally squeezes by, because of the structure, not me squeezing it myself. See, I don't go like this. See how my muscle squeezes it? It'll naturally squeeze it. My, my, my arm is still fully relaxed at this point. And then when the, I can do that, guess what? And I can release the in, entire power upon the hit. Okay, so in the end, do we squeeze or not squeeze? Kinda yes and no. One, we do squeeze, but we squeeze because the force allows it to squeeze, not me squeezing it actively myself. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that clarifies all the stuff. And the only time you ever wanna squeeze is if you're doing a movie. Otherwise, if you do it like this, it looks boring. So, later on. <laughs> the hell is that? All right, later.